my beautiful crafty friends. Uh, I am Katia with Lunar Sun Creations and I finally have a new album tutorial for you. I started this project back in February. <laughs> it's embarrassing to admit but it, well most of you know that I've moved and I was doing a bunch of renovations and um, just life kind of took over. I also work full-time at a restaurant. Thank you for being patient. It just took a little while. <laughs> I'm a little late to the party, but this album uses the Stamperia Orchids and Cats collection. Um, I was so excited when there was a collection with cats, although I really wish that there was some cat images that were ragdolls, <laughs> like my boys. But still, it's, there's, there was many other images that look like other cats that I've had, <laughs> so that made me happy. And the cat, the boys definitely helped me a lot with this tutorial. <laughs> And and in that, I mean, they often lay down on whatever it was that I was trying to work on. <laughs> That's their help. I really hope that you love it. Um, it is available in my Etsy shop right now. And those of you who have subscribed to my newsletter, you have a little treat in your inbox. So just go check that out. <laughs> Please hit that like button down below. It really helps me out. And the subscribe button while you're at it. Just punch all the buttons. All the buttons down there. They're all good buttons. Okay, so without further jibber jabber, I am just going to let you see the album. Okay, so here is the album. Um, I love it. It measures uh, about nine inches across by ten and three quarters high. And then the spine is two and a quarter. Okay, so we'll open it up. It's magnetized closure. So that's the inside and then we open it up all the way. So on the front cover, I've just got a little tuck spot with some um, spots for um, photos or journaling. You can also put photos here as well. On the first official page there's a lot going on in page one, I'll tell ya. So, first we open this little latch and this opens to the side and this pops up. And then you can put photos in here. I just left this blank because it's perfect for a 4x4 four four photo. And that closes back up, but before we do the latch, it also opens up like that. And then this part opens down. And there's a little tuck spot right in here as well. And then this opens up. And all that closes back. And then up here, this opens to the top for some journaling space and then it opens to the side with a little chipboard element and then this is a pocket so the whole thing comes out so you can either uh, trim a picture down and put it there or do some more journaling with like a white gel pen or something. And then that opens to the side and then this one here does the same thing and pulls out like that and it opens like that. And then you undo this ribbon and the whole thing opens up. Large space here for photos. And then these are magnetized and this one goes up and it's got a little pop up here. Again I left it blank so you can just put some small photos. The bottom one does the same thing. So it's got some dimension there. There's like a big about an inch behind it. Okay and then the whole piece goes to the side and goes to the side again. I didn't decorate this although you could but I wanted there to be a lot of spaces for photos because some of this paper is just so gorgeous that I wasn't sure if I even wanted to put a photo on it and then just did some kind of paper piecing here so you could journal and uh, put photos in. So that whole thing closes back up and that is all page one. <laughs> so there's already a lot happening just in the first page. 
And on to page two. So here, this lifts up and then pulls out. There's a pocket here. And then there's also this little uh, folder in the pocket. So it's extra room for photos. And then the, so here's the pocket here. And then it also flips up and pulls out. And then this opens up and opens up again and again. There's like three spots there, a trifold. So this is very, lots of going on, so it's hard to keep in frame. And then this part down here opens to the side. Okay, so this goes back into this pocket and closes. And then these also both go into this pocket. And then this part over here, I've got a little metal latch and it opens. And then this opens to the side. And then this part opens down. And then this part opens up. And as it opens, you've got two parts that, f that open to the side here. And now uh, throughout the album, you'll see a bunch of this paper that I made myself just with sprays and a gel press. I used two full Orchids and Cats 12 by 12 collections for this with a few pieces left over. You probably have enough paper with just the two um, 12 by 12 paper pads to do the whole thing, but I just love there. I feel like there needs to be some room for your eyes to rest, so I like some more solid pieces. So I like, and I also just like to make backgrounds. So I've got two pockets here with the little chipboard kitties, and they are magnetized, and they both open to the side, and then this opens to the side. And this whole thing is magnetized and opens to the side again. And then this flap as well opens to the side. And then this is a large pocket. There's room for a photo there. More of the paper that I've made. And this is also magnetized. And it goes down and up. And then both of these little flaps also open up. So there's a lot of room for photos there. And I just did some like, I used some of my scraps just to make some extra stuff. And this is actually open. This is open so that these parts can come all the way out. And then they just slide back in like that. And this one slides into the top part. And then these close, and that closes, and that closes. And then the whole thing goes back into the pocket. Like that. And then that closes, that closes, and then those close. And everything's magnetized and stays nice and flat. All right, and then on page four, use some more of the chipboard elements. They're so cute. I, I mean, anything to do with cats is my jam, right? And this opens to the top and to the side, to the side again, to the top and to the bottom. These beautiful hummingbirds here. And then the whole thing opens up to the top. And then I wanted to use this door image, but I felt like I needed to do something extra with it, so I decided to do magnetized little tabs, and then this opens, and then you can either put a picture or write a whole story. You know, you could do whatever you want with that spot, but I just wanted a nice big empty spot. And then I never like to throw anything away. I literally keep every tiny little scrap, so I decided to do a little kind of patchwork quilt scenario almost with, um with some of my scraps. When you open it, 
there's like a pop-up element and there's four spots for photos there. All right, and then the uh, back, back inside cover is again just simple so you can put a nice huge photo if you wanted to and uh, again here as well. So that is it and it's not quite as big as some of my other albums. Like a lot of my albums have like four inch spines so I decided to keep this one just a little bit smaller but still have very, very interactive pages. So I hope you love it as much as I do, and it will be available in my Etsy shop. The tutorial is almost 60 pages, but it was like 56, 57 pages, with um, almost 300 photos and then a six part video series as well. So a lot of instruction, anyone can make this. It is for beginners and advanced alike, um, the instructions are very, very detailed, and I know you can do it. So I hope you love it as much as I do, and um, I just realized that I put this on crooked. <laughs> oh, that's gonna bug me now. Oh well, it is what it is. It's on there now. <laughs> I hope you're having an amazing day, and I will see you again very, very soon. Big hugs! Bye!